Okay, good morning. So I just finished, I think my first essay, um, well, not my first essay, but first essay for my ecological course for this assignment, but the assignment one is actually two essays but each of them are only two pages long. So this one was just 600 words, which is like nothing. But I find I, the shorter essays are just so much harder to write because you really have to make sure you keep it concise, short, you say everything you wanna say in hardly any pages. So that's what I've just finished. I'm just working on my work cited now. It should take me like two seconds because we only had to use two secondary sources, so. Yeah, that's the first one done. This one was about coffee advertising. I did a whole thing on like a coffee bag in my cupboard, which was really interesting because there is so much freedom. This course probably has the most freedom of any I've ever taken in university. This one was just like pick a text of your choosing and the text could be anything from like a song to an advertisement to a product. So I picked coffee. So I'm gonna finish up my work cited and then I'm gonna take a little break. The second essay is gonna be on Gun Island. So actually working with a novel, which is much more my thing. Although I did actually enjoy doing something a bit different, but yeah, it's gonna be on Gun Island. I haven't sorted out on what yet. It's gonna have to be a short little thing, but anyway, so that's the second essay I'm gonna work on. But right now I'm gonna take a little break. It's 11 o'clock. I'm just gonna finish up this work cited and then I will see what I'm gonna do for my next essay. I've decided, well, first of all, I finished my first mini essay on the coffee thing I was working on yesterday and the second one, like I said, is going to be on Gun Island. So I went through all my tabs and I was like, what do I want to talk about? I can talk about anything I want to talk about. So I'm actually going to be doing an essay on the relationship or the way that viruses and storytelling in Gun Island are linked. Like there's a lot about a story as a virus or bacteria. There's a lot about epidemics, pandemics, um, and storytelling and the way that these two things are linked, which is really cool and how that relates to the earth, the climate, ecology, how stories and viruses, like the way that they resurface their lifespans, the way that their life cycles are linked to the earth as well. So that's what I'm gonna be writing on. That's just a two page, which again is difficult. So I have to finish that. And then this course, I randomly have to do self-reflections don't, don't make me do self-reflections. I hate, is there anything? Probably group work or like forums where you have to answer questions for your classmates, but self-reflections are really up there. I hate, I don't, I don't like them. I'm not really in the writing mood, which is unfortunate. Um, I also really want to get a new desk chair because I keep getting headaches sitting here. And when I use my partner's chair, he has like a nice office chair. I don't. So I might order one today, honestly, because I'm really fed up with my workspace, just the ergonomics of it. Might put off the essay writing for a little bit. Actually in the mood to read Dance, Dance, Dance and annotate my thesis, which is great because technically my thesis course starts tomorrow. It technically starts tomorrow, which is really scary. So I have been trying to get ahead a little bit, but um, Dance, Dance, Dance is one of the novels I'm hopefully going to be working with. Like it can change at any time. Again, there's a lot of freedom, but I'm fairly certain that I'm quite happy to have Dance, Dance, Dance involved. So I think that's what I'm going to do instead. I keep reading The President as well. And we can talk about this because last night I finished my lecture notes for The President. So I have a lot more knowledge in me now that I'm reading this, which is nice. And I'm currently 66 pages through. So I think this is what I'm going to do school-wise today instead of finishing the essay and then try to finish the essay up over the weekend.
I feel like we have chatted in a little bit. I don't think I've actually updated this vlog in a little while, like, you know, chatting. So let's talk. If you can hear my coffee maker in the background, you can hear it. I needed a little bit of a pick me up because I'm not feeling the best. So what am I currently working on? Um, I ended up submitting my personal essay, so I don't, I feel like I haven't even said that. And then I submitted another essay too, and now I'm working on my third essay, and I have two essays due this week. So it's just essays are coming out of the wazoo over here. Some of them are being birthed easier than others. I would like an epidural at this point. Okay, scratch that metaphor. This is my first essay for my Latin American novel course, and I'm gonna be writing on 100 Years of Solitude, which um, is my favorite book of all time. So I'm a very happy girl, but when it comes to this book, I have such a block in talking about it, writing about it. Um, I find it really hard to do any of those things. So like this is forcing me to do that, which is really nice because I've always wanted to write somewhere about 100 Years of Solitude. And then I'm also writing on The President by Asturias, which I have finished now. To be honest, can I just say, I think my enjoyment of The President would have been like 100% higher if the font wasn't so tiny. I can't tell you how much like the size, the style, and just everything about the font itself impacts my enjoyment of a book. This was just so tiny to the point where I, I was getting upset. Let me be honest with you. Um, it was just, it was not a nice time, but I did finish The President. I still haven't rated it. It is so horrifying. This book is so horrifying. If I haven't talked properly about this in this vlog, completely forget because it's been like at least a week now of this vlog, but this is about a Guatemalan dictator based on Cabrera, who was president of Guatemala from 1898 to 1920. And it basically details his reign of terror where like, it doesn't matter if you are innocent in any capacity, you are gonna go to jail, you're gonna get tortured and more likely than not, you're gonna get killed for nothing. So the president kind of follows this cast of characters in the city all kind of running around, dodging the president, trying to become a part of the secret police, trying to save themselves from the secret police, like just absolute chaos. The novel begins with the murder of a general that the president really liked, and he's so upset that he decides to use this murder of the general who was murdered by um, someone known as the Zany, who's called an idiot. He's a homeless man with a lot of issues, a lot going on, and the general in question one night comes up to the Zany, taunts him, and the Zany murders him. This is like on page three or something. From there, the president's like, you know what? No homeless man murdered the general. This other guy that I want out, um, these two other people, I'm gonna say that they murdered my favorite general. Then you follow the plot of like, secret plots, subplots within secret plots, secrets within secrets, like there's no, there's no truth, there's nothing, like everyone is horrified all the time. The author does a lot of dream sequences in the surrealist style and it's just, um, it's really horrifying. It's so horrifying and more horrifying because it's real and inspired by true history, so. I am currently working on an essay for both of these. I was doing a lot of research last night. Last night I was in the really flip floppy ugh, zone of the essay where like you don't know really what you're gonna write on and that's like the place I hate being in the most because you just kind of don't have any passion yet. You're not feeling hopeful about it. But um, I was stewing and stewing as well because like the essay questions were honestly not very stimulating, not great. And it was not inspiring me to <laughs> write any of these, especially because as well, as you can imagine, writing on both of them, it is a comparative essay. I don't love comparative essays, but this one I'm really looking forward to because I've decided to write on women as tombs, women as graveyards, women as the bearers of bones, their bodies becoming houses for corpses which um, I am freaking excited about because I'm gonna be writing on Rebecca, who's my favorite character in 100 Years of Solitude. If you, maybe you probably know something about this book, you probably know about the dirt eating woman. She is my favorite. For years, I've been so struck, obsessed, and like really felt that her dirt eating just spoke to me and I've always wanted a chance to write about it somewhere so now I do 
Um, more than eating dirt, she also carries her parents' bones around with her in a little bag. There's a lot going on there. Um, in The President, it is much more blatant because we have one of the characters who's in prison for doing nothing wrong. Um, her name is Fedina and she is the wife of one of our other characters who is also implicated in a crime. A mess, a whole mess, but she's being tortured for information. She's telling the truth, but they're like, no, you're lying. And so they bring in her young son to kind of try and get the information out of her. I'm not gonna say too much, but uh, the reason I'm writing on her is because she has this intense desire, a wish to literally become a tomb. Like she no longer wants to be a human being. She wants she wants to be a tomb. I was just like, I can't help but talk about these two women together because um, Rebecca eats whitewash off of the walls. Not only does she eat dirt, um, she eats whitewash off of the walls, which is also known as lime paint. And in the president, Fedina is also punished because she has to pound quicklime. Um, and quicklime, I think, is an ingredient in whitewash. Or quicklime is used to make whitewash or lime paint. Like, like essentially, they're almost the same thing. One is carbon oxide and the other one is something else. Very similar um, and both very toxic. Just so many similarities and obviously both are being used for different purposes. So I'm kind of just working on my thesis right now. I'm gonna talk about that, talk about eating dirt, talk about the whitewash, the quick lime, talk about magical realism and surrealism. Surrealism, I don't think I can actually say that word correctly. Probably also talk about um, the different, you know, kind of dictator and tyrannical political past. I just made another cup of coffee. I just want to get my intro done. The intro I think takes me the longest to write just because that's the place you really have to like, I feel like you really have to nail the intro to be able to nail the rest of the essay. Mm -hmm.